Hello, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I got this card out of Pinterest, as I have with all the cards I'm recording today. Of course, I went brain dead and couldn't figure out what cards I wanted to make. And I'm just looking to see who did this. Stamping Madly is the creator of this card. I can't read her name, I'm sorry, but it's there. She's put with deepest sympathy. I've changed the sentiment to thinking of you with all my heart. And I've added this. She didn't add that. So, to make this card, I've got a card base of... Um, Mossy Meadow. 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and a half, scored and folded in half. I've got two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside and one for the outside, and these are 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I have got a piece of Mossy Meadow at 4 and a half by 3 and 1 eighths, at 4 and a half and 3 and 1 eighths, and a piece of white at three inches by four and three eighths and that will go on the top I've also got some scrap white for the stamping so we will and I bet I haven't got oh I have I'm also using the forever flourishing dies to stamp out the leaves as well but I'll show you what I do with that in a minute so let's get our stamping done right first of all we're going to stamp the sentiment make sure it's straight on my block and we're going to stamp that just down here, bottom right. Like that. I'm gonna put that to one side. Right, we need two of these leaves. For a change, I haven't got any cut. Right, I'm going to put that one there because I'm going to turn it over and stamp another one because the first one didn't come out very well. That's better. Clean the stamp. Right, that's our stamping done. I'll just close that for now. What we need to do is cut these out. I'm cutting down the card because they only just go on my um, Sizzix Psychic. So, with my plates and with this die I am going to place that
on yeah. on there like that stick it down and cut it out One leaf, and we've got to do it again. Cut this one out, second leaf. Right, we don't need that anymore, but we need that one. Right, what I've done with another scrap of white, that's big enough, I cut this die out of Mossy Meadow but it was too dark. So what I did, I placed that on there, went over it with Mossy Meadow ink, a few times, not too dark, that do. Got a bit of scrap paper, it's this side of me. Like that. And it come out like that. Then I got the die again and placed it over the image and cut it out. And there we have it, a nice, what is going on? I've got the sun shining through my curtains. Right, I'm going to shut my curtain so you can see what I'm doing. Oh. And shine the light down. Bring you down a bit more. That's better. So that is how I done them. Right, all we've got to do now is stick all this together. So put this on. There, and stick on 
there. I might as well stick this on. This inside has already been stamped with a non stamping up stamp. Wishing you the most beautiful day. Oh no, that's not a very good sentiment to put in that one. Bin that. And we'll put just a plain one in there. Very thoughtless of me, wasn't it? Right. Now this will go, oh I never did it in that one, thank god for that, made me think then, uh, yeah this will go on there but on dimensionals, so let's go to some dimensionals, I'm going to use all these scraps that I've got. And we'll pop that in the middle. We will just glue flat like that there. And then this little wreath bit we put over the top here. I mean you can just have it like that. But I wanted to add this one. And that is all I've done. No gems on this one. hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon